eBay Motors is here for the ride. Elbow grease and a whole lot of love transformed 100,000 miles and a body full of rust into a drive entirely its own. LED headlights, spoilers, whatever you need. eBay Motors has it at affordable prices. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, it's guaranteed to fit your ride every time. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Thanks for listening to CarCast on Podcast One. The Dodge Spring sales event is here. Thanks to Dodge, spring isn't about the change of weather, longer days, or flowers blooming. It's about the Dodge Spring sales event. And since the Brotherhood of Muscle has the only family of all-wheel drive muscle cars, March 21st is just another day on the calendar. The Dodge Charger, own the road and the pump with up 300 horsepower and 30 miles per gallon. The Dodge Challenger, now the rush of opening it up on the highway doesn't come at a cost. The Dodge Journey, no matter your adventure, the most powerful three-row all-wheel drive vehicle in its class has your back. The Dodge Durango, with all-wheel drive availability, April showers won't have your tires spinning unless you want to. The rides of March are here, so visit your local Dodge dealer and join the Brotherhood of Muscle today. All right, welcome to CarCast once again. I'm Matt, the moderator, DeAndrea, and here with Bill Goldberg. Howdy ho! How is it, buddy? Going good, man. It's going really good. We got a little bit of rain the past couple of weeks, yeah. man, and it's dried off. It's cleared the roads, so I can go out and drive my cars. Episode two, our second episode of Car Cast with Goldberg and the Motorator. I don't know if that's really the name. I've just what I've been calling it in my head, and uh, uh, so we're just going to go with that for now. Um, again, thanks to uh, Castrol and Dodge. So we're gonna we're gonna be talking about those guys as well. You were talking about driving in the rain, but I saw you pull up in your in your in your Charger Hellcat, and it looks like you got some uh, some some che- cheater slicks in the back, maybe some drag radials. I got those on all my cars <laughs> in the back. Thanks to Mickey Thompson. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, man. I uh, mean, at the end of the day, not uh, the best rainy tire, but I, it rained yesterday, not today. Uh, yeah, I got a little sideways on the five today, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you got to you got to have a little bit of fun and. You have to know your limits. You have to know the limits of the tire. And I couldn't go over 146 here. I know that. So it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any mods on the Charger Hellcat? Yes, I do. I've got uh, long tube headers and three-inch exhaust for Magnaflow. Okay. Because uh, I heard it like nine to ten minutes before you got here. <laughs> yeah, that thing's got a gnarly growl to <laughs> it. It does. I mean, uh, it's a four-door car with 750 something horsepower that gets at least i mean i got when i went home last time from la 18 miles of the gallon yeah that's that's not bad i mean I don't that's know. pretty damn good for i don't, I don't think you could ask close for much to 800 that. horsepower yeah. and actually having an, and i didn't baby it no. right i didn't break any world land speed records by any means yeah but yeah i stayed within the bounds of the law but i, I got 18 miles of the gallon that, i mean that's pretty respectable for god's yeah. sakes um, as opposed to, you know, watching my old Dodge Dart, you know, I could see the needle going down towards E once I pressed on the throttle. Oh, yeah. Um, it's I'm very surprised. Very surprised. But, you know, I, hey, I just like having fun, man. That's what this car stuff's all about, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm down with you. Yeah. I was um, – it's just a random thought. I was watching TV the other day, and and you just you just popped up on – in a, in a commercial, you popped up in a direct TV commercial, and I was like, "Hey, Skullberg, just in a TV commercial." You did a direct TV commercial. I did it just to publicize our new car cast. Oh, that's fantastic! That's, that's the only yeah. reason. I mean, well, maybe next time I wear a car cast TV. shirt. Well, yeah, maybe next time I wear a car, <laughs> a car I'll cast. put car cast on my forehead. <laughs> um, you know, it was a commercial I did about a year ago, and I have still yet to see it. Really? I, mean, I literally came in from the gym last night. Uh, my son was passed out on the couch. I, you know, made made bed right next to him, you know, and uh, I turned the television on. I wanted to watch Saturday Night Live, and I'll be damned if I didn't roll back out of 
of the screen. So it was the end of the commercial. Yeah. That's all I've seen. So you filmed it about a year ago, but I think it debuted like maybe Super Bowl Super or Bowl, something, yeah. right? Chris, do we have the commercial? Yep, got it right here. We're going to um, show Bill yeah, the commercial so for the first time ever. Check it's, this out. it's Michael B. Jordan is in it. that cable box to watch TV? Nope. Don't we need to run? Nope. It just explodes in a high-pitched... That shouldn't have me, but that was a stunt guy. They wouldn't let me do it. Oh, really? Yeah, I tried, man. <laughs> all right, I, first wait, wait, of all, wait, wait. I tried really hard to do it, but number one, it would have taken a check away from him, yeah. which is not my job. My job is to get him more money. And number two, uh, if I would have been cut at all, they couldn't have shot the rest of the commercial. So and I, you don't want to hurt your shoulder. Your I don't care about shoulder. my shoulder, for God's sake. Look at what shoulder. I do all the time, man. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment, and I would have loved to have done it, but they just didn't let me. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I had, I had dinner the other day with my friend Jeremy Fry. And as a stunt oh, nice. driver, and I was telling you about him, yep, right? Yep. He he drove in John Wick two. By the way, John Wick two, that opening sequence, he goes into the warehouse and he steals his his uh, his Mustang back, and he comes flying off a ramp, like flying sideways out of the building, and then lands on on the tarmac, and it's raining out. That's he drove that. Mm-hmm. J- Jeremy drove that. But we had this discussion as well. Yep. I was like, "What's your feeling on, you know, like the." The actors that want to do their own stunts and whatever. And he's like, it's, it's fine. I'm down with it. I'll show them whatever. I've done it a lot. He goes, but, you know, they've got their job. I got my job. And it's just like what you're saying. It's Takes like, money out of his pocket. You know, you know, he's there to do it. And I'm sure he's excited about it and wants to tell people that he, he did it and, and help his career and, and, and whatnot. So what? No harm, no foul, right? Like I get – Nowadays, like if you know, because you do so many, you still do movies and TV and all kinds of stuff. And there are scenes where, like, well, we want you to do some of the driving because we we want to see your face in yeah. the car. You know, we want to see what you're doing. You know, and if and if you're spending money, if you're spending Tom Cruise money, you know, like like Jack Reacher when he was doing his whole thing in the Mustang, that that was a very important thing mm-hmm. to show his face in the rearview mirror and all this stuff. So I get. When you when you need to do it, but if you don't need to jump through a glass window and shoulder roll into a direct TV commercial, then you're right. Let the guy who's there do it, earn some money, and and get another job, and then you get to be in the commercial and as well. continue to emasculate yourself. Right? Yeah, I mean, you put your ego but ego aside and let him do his job. I don't think you need. There's look. Do you have a WWE belt at home? I know. I wore it. <laughs> This is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it was in his room, and we were snuggling. We was a, it was a tender moment, but I wore the Whoa, championship belt. I'm out. A... <laughs> um, that was when you and Gage had a had a. No, well, that's a different podcast too. <laughs> All right. So the other thing I was watching the other day, and uh, I was watching the Grand Tour. And by the way, a bucket list thing for any car guy would be on a show like a Top Gear or now the Grand Tour. And you were on that show. And I want to hear about it. I want to hear how it happened. I have some thoughts about the race. But let's just get down to brass tacks here. It's aired. It's on Amazon. Go and watch it. I think the episode's called Gas, Gas, Gas or something like that. Yeah. Go watch it. It's done. Goldberg gets screwed. That was the name of the episode. But because it's out there and it's done, we can talk. We can talk shop, right? There's we can... no way he beat me. There's no okay. way. It's not so, possible. So for those of you who don't know, like they do their whole their films and stuff in the show. And this season, they're putting two people together. It'll be like two rock stars with a middle name named George or something like that. Or two actors yeah. with a middle name of George. Celebrity and then face off. It's kind of like that. And, and they try to get oftentimes people from different countries, an American and a Brit or whatever. So they got... You oh, and the car is this. The car is it's a Jaguar F type. I think the small engine. I think four it's cylinder. The, you know, I think it's the two liter four cylinder, and and you race around this track, but it's half asphalt, half half gravel. 
So you start on the asphalt, you go in the gravel, you go back on the asphalt, you probably get a couple practice laps, and then you run. And then there's this showdown, and who's got the time? There's a lot of grass in my in yeah. mine. <laughs> right. So you guys should definitely watch the episode. It's gonna be it's on Amazon Prime. Go there, watch it. Because after we're talking about it, then you go back and watch it, and it's gonna be way better. Yeah, season two, <laughs> episode seven. There you go. There it is. All right. Well, how how does this happen? You call your agent, and you're like, God damn it, I want to do the show. No, man, my <laughs> agent's known. He's a car guy. I'm the one that told him to buy a charger like 10 years ago. <laughs> so he's always known that my on my car bucket list is being on the Grand Tour. And so I'm up in Vancouver doing The Flash, and I I get an email. And it's, hey, you want to go on the Grand Tour? <clears throat> I'm like, can I leave now? Yeah. Um, so one thing led to another, and I I was in Vancouver for 11 days doing The Flash, Got home, spent a day and a half, and then flew to London. Um, I think I spoke to you while you were here for the day and a half. Yeah, you spoke man, on the phone. It, you're like, I'm going to do the Grand Tour. Yeah, so I didn't <laughs> care about being tired or being claustrophobic on the plane or this or that. I didn't care about any of that. I just wanted to be on the show. Yeah. Um, and And it did not disappoint. I mean, it was absolutely the coolest car thing I've ever done. Um, I, I mean, Goodwood is absolutely... You know, awesome in its own right and yeah. in a different perspective. But just being on that show, I mean, it's just I've seen it so many times. That, you know, you put Top Gear at the, the top of the car list. You know, I've hosted car show after car show. And, um, you know, you always want to be a part of the best. And as far as I was concerned, Top Gear was the best. They moved it over to Netflix. It's the Grand Tour now. Or Amazon. I, excuse me. Amazon. It's the Grand Tour and, um, you know, a little different format, but, it, you know, for the most part, it's the same show. So I get the invitation to go. And I'm competing against Anthony Joshua, right? Uh, young kid, um, heavyweight champion, just so happens to be British. Um, just so happens to be sponsored by Jaguar. Yeah, he's like 6'6". Six, six, same dude. people that gave us the car gave to drive the car. in the celebrity <laughs> face-off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Jeremy Clarkson has an affinity for ragging on Americans. Yeah, um, he wasn't going to rag on me because I would have, you know, shoved my foot down his mouth. No, but he was a very nice guy, very respectful to me. It was awesome; I had a great time. Um, but yeah, man, they can't have an American guy come in here as a professional wrestler and beat their hometown boy. Yeah. Who just so happens to be sponsored by the car that we're driving around the track. I'm just going to say it. There's no way he beat me. There's no the way. Track. But I'm, hey, man, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I take one for the team. And it was his place. You know, it was all good. Man. But he, they, they even kind of ragged on Bill at the, at the top, like saying uh, he only has American cars. The only European cars he has is a, is a G. Uh, a Volkswagen bug or something? I, I forget what it well, was. Well, they but. said a Volkswagen because he has a Porsche, his wife's Porsche, and Clarkson doesn't really like Porsches that much, and he just thinks they're all Volkswagens. And yeah, so they're you know they were busting chops a little bit. I get that it's TV, right? And you got to eat shit on TV sometimes. I get that, but this is a little different because it's one of those moments where you're like, I really want to be on the show, and I really want to do well on the show because you know because you are such a good. You are such a passionate car guy, and like everything else is is still a job. You know, the acting, doing the Flash, and on the Goldbergs. You know, TV commercials that we talked about. You know, a minute ago, like all of that is still the job, and the passion is the car. So if you can be invited onto a, the car show, I'm out Goldberg. There, I want to do as good as I can. I right. want to win every time. You know, but. Hey, at the end of the day, um, I, I didn't make a big deal out of it. And if he beat me, he beat me. But there's no way it happened. But you know, <laughs> it was it was just it was a great experience. Uh, even taking that into consideration, I I I don't know how they fudge the numbers. Let's say they they fudge the numbers somehow. And and but here's my thing: is they've got a big budget over there. When they do these types of head to head races. I'm pretty sure Jaguar can say, here's a right-hand drive car uh -huh. and a left-hand drive car. Oh, by the car. way, yeah. I was the first time I ever got in a car with the steering wheel on the wrong side. On the wrong Jeremy. side. At the very least, if they said, no, 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 you only get one Jaguar for your million dollar per episode, $3 million per episode budget. At the very least, I know there's some calculation that their team can put together and go, there's a, there's a, one second 
difference between if you've if you've if you're on the wrong side of the car. A handicap. Right. Yeah. There's a there's a handicap somewhere, right? A half a second, a second, whatever. There's some sort of math involved. And uh this is actually a funny moment because you did that episode and then Adam Carolla called me and he's like kind of look like bullshit to me. And he goes, first of all, he goes, Bill didn't look comfortable on the wrong side of the car. <laughs> and I was like, no, who would be? And he goes, why wouldn't they have two cars? And he goes, this is not an apples to apples race. He's not like, even. it's like, this seems like, and he's like, I'm calling bullshit on this one. That's Adam calling me like a month ago saying, hey, I, I'm not falling for it. Right. I, I, I haven't said anything to him and <laughs> hey, we're breaking it here, ladies and gentlemen. But, hey, it's all good. It's all good. When I go back, I'll kick his ass next time. Give me one of my freaking cars. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's get uh, – I love that they were talking to you guys about, like, what your first car was. And uh, you had the Trans Am. You had the, you know – 76 Trans Am. Yeah, yeah. That's what we expected. Yeah. Yeah. Big muscle car. And he had some I'd never even heard of. I don't know. Some stupid British he's not a, He's not a car guy. He's not a car guy. But he's a good dude. He seemed like a really nice guy, and he looked like you guys were both having fun on there. And uh, I think it was uh, when when they were promoting the season, we had um, all three of the hosts. We had Jeremy and 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 May and Hammond. They all came in. And I, it, was, it was funny because they're just kind of surly British dudes, right? And and they're they're publicists. Three guys came in with three. They each had a publicist. Now, there are uh, like four publicists total. Somebody had, yeah. somebody had two. Yeah, well, there was like an Amazon publicist, <laughs> an American Clarkston. one. <laughs> and, and, and then there was three British girls <laughs> that came in. And uh, Adam's in here doing an Adam Kroll show interviewing the three guys and the three girls in there. And uh, we had this big vending machine. It was full of all kinds of shit that's gone now. But we had it and, you know, it's free. Guests come in and stuff. All three girls are uh, tapping away on their phone, you know. Just not saying anything, tapping away on their phone, and uh, just to kind of break the ice. You could, there's a monitor out there. You can watch the show that's going on in here. I turn to them and I go, uh, "By the way, here's a machine. You know, if you guys want something to drink, something to snack on, everything in here, just hit the button." They all just like look up for their phone, look at me. They don't say anything. They just like, look back at their phone like not even not all three of them not even like oh thanks nothing but nothing. see here's the deal that's t- exactly what i expected when i went there. yeah exactly but it's completely the opposite of what i got maybe i scared the shit out of them I, which is usually my yeah. mo yeah but, let's hit the gym matt <laughs> yeah. i'm just saying man i fully was on my defensive and i i, I was ready for all of them to act like that not yeah. one of them did I was so flabbergasted. I still can't believe it. Something must have been going on that day. I don't know, but they were so freaking nice. It was un- it was awesome. It was a great experience. How long did it take to like like walk me through the the you 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 land in 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 the UK or you fly into Heathrow wherever they they take you. They they haul you out somewhere and then do you just get into driver training? Do you meet the host first and I stayed like- at the, the the it was in the middle of the country. Right, so they take you to this place. It's like the, the Soho Hotel. It's like it's like a big farm. And um, the next morning, you know, you get up and you do your thing. And there again, I was first. Okay, at seven a.m., there was ice on the track. Okay? Yeah, he was at nine thirty, ten o'clock when it was warmed up. And eh, when I, I'm hey. The more I talk, the more it sounds like it's like, you know, this is a sore loser. And I never want anybody to think that. No, I just want to get the experience. It's still yeah. exciting. Look, we get it. The times are irrelevant, right? You went out there. You got to be on the show. You talk with the guys. You drove the car. Put it this way. Put it this way. Okay? Not to interrupt you, but you know how freaking competitive I am. Yes. Yes, I do. And you know how bad that pissed me off. I yeah. don't care. It yeah. was so much fun That's going. That's what I'm saying. Like, it was so cool going. I don't care. They could do whatever they want to me. It doesn't actually, matter. We spoke again when you came home, and and you were like, you know, whatever. I You talked about how what a great time it was, and, you know, the result wasn't quite what you wanted. And, you know, you know right-hand drive, you know, left-hand drive, this and that, uh, without really getting into it. We wanted it to air first. He didn't want to ruin it for me or anything else. But uh, – you know, but you go out there and you do what? You do like a couple of hours of, of, of test driving? 
Like how? What, Shit, what do they I give think you? We like, had eight laps. Eight laps. Yeah, something like that. A couple hours, no, not even. And then, and then, you do your last lap for a time, or the like. All right, so now you gotta do two or three laps I and think, pick the first. I think just, that's what it the was. I, I think it was after you get the warm up time. Um, you know, they'll you do three laps and they'll take the best. They'll one. take the best one out of the three. And uh, and sometimes you slide off into the grass a little bit. Sometimes you don't. At about ninety, <laughs> it was awesome. If you're going to go, go big, right? Yeah. Like if you watch the episodes and you see when you get off of the uh, get off of the gravel and you first get onto the asphalt, it's a little bit slick. I imagine very early in the morning, wet, cold, and icy, it's a little more slick. And you've seen in previous episodes, people go a little wide and maybe just lay a tire down. You you put the car out there. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Like I say, if you're gonna go big, go. If you're gonna go, go yeah. big, man. And then then they do their whole you know interview and the reveal, and they're in the big tent. When does that happen? Same day, next day? Yeah, same day. It's hours afterwards. You know, uh, they assemble the 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 uh, audience, and then they'll do their shtick. You know, the three of them will go out and they do little, their shtick for a hour or so, and then uh, put us in the trailer. And, when when you're there for that part for the ten part, are they doing the full episode and you're just kind of hanging out in the back watching the full episode? Not and, watching it, but I'm in in a trailer. Yeah, while they're doing the full episode. So they're doing their full episode, and then when your bit comes up, you go in and and, and you guys live look, audience. Yeah, yeah. And you guys go in and have, and they probably do in the tent bit. They probably do two or two of those a day or something like that. I'm not yeah, sure. I don't I don't know I don't know because they have to get a completely different. No, they probably do. So I was wondering, do they get a different audience, or do they just move them around? Yeah, they do a different audience. All right, so I yeah. just did because a, it's a, it's a big ticket. It's a big money ticket to be in that audience. Oh, really? They pay to be in that audience? I'm just saying, um, or, there were a number of people that were pissed off that they hadn't gone to that episode because Anthony and I were on it. So I don't know exactly if they know. Oh, maybe they do do two episodes in a day. Yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing only because I was watching it. I was trying to find some continuity between Jeremy Clarkson's jacket and shirt. <laughs> and uh, and he keeps wearing the same shit all the time. And only He's only the British ha- Leno. Yeah, only Hammond, like, you know, puts his vest on at a different, you know. But, the, you know, and then... May he just always wears like a sweater all the time or whatever. So, but you can only kind of go by maybe Hammond because he puts on a different suit and stuff. But you're looking at me like that's the same shitty jeans you were wearing. You just changed your sport coat, is what you did there. And so I, I, I kind of felt like maybe they were doing two episodes a day for those for those bits. But I don't know. Um, uh, well, it sounds like it would be exciting. It, it sounds was a like blast, man. I've, I've been do. on so many different shows and. It was, I mean, as the car guy that we both are, it is the coolest thing in the world. I got to drive a Goodwood last year, and I got to do the Grand Tour. I mean, what did you drive awesome. a Goodwood? I mean, I know what you drove, but tell Chris. Chris doesn't know. <laughs> Chris, I drove uh, Mike Skinner's backup Craftsman truck at Goodwood last year, which will be the same vehicle I'll be driving this year in July. Oh, going back. All right. Yeah, it was an, I mean, <laughs> It, along with the Grand Tour, which both happened in 2017, a lot happened to me in 2017. It's a big year. Which was pretty freaking, yeah, it was a huge year. Um, it was just the coolest thing you could ever do. All right, so a quick word from Dodge. The Dodge Spring sales event is happening now. This spring, the Brotherhood of Muscle is looking for new members, and the only way to join is to get behind the wheel of Dodge's only family of all-wheel drive muscle cars. The Dodge Charger own the road and the pump with up to 300 horsepower and 30 miles per gallon. The Dodge Challenger take the streets by storm with the most affordable V8 in its class. The Dodge Journey. Maximize your adventures with the most powerful three-row, all-wheel drive vehicle in its class. And the Dodge Durango. Tear through April showers with the most powerful SUV with all-wheel drive availability in its class. Hurry into your Dodge dealership and start your introduction to the Brotherhood of Muscle. How many cars did you buy last year? Don't go there, man, because people are going (laughs) to think I'm that guy. Um, I, I, I... Honestly, <laughs> it's a car show. This is all we want to hear about. I, I'm not going to tell if you bought a fucking private Seven. plane. <laughs> all right, there you go. Seven cars. I did not know that. I can think of five. Well, I bought four, and I bought my wife three, kind of two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, six or seven. 
That's all four right. Four wheelers and stuff count? No. No, but you got to have those. You live on a huge, like. I need a zip line. You do need a zip line. <laughs> you do need a zip line. His fa- his place is fantastic. I'm not going to get into it too much. I would much, pay but... to see that. <laughs> zip line. The I if if that was there, no doubt, all three of you would be using it. Wanda, Gage. bullshit. There's I wouldn't use a zip line for any amount of money in the world. Really? No, <laughs> no. thank you. Jeez. No way, man. Uh, I've done my time. I'm not gonna. I'm not pushing the envelope anymore. Not like that. All right, it's well, like like bungee jumping or something. Or skydiving. Or, I ain't doing. I'm not going to do that. I'll drive whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll drive whatever. There was a. I, I don't know if you can talk about this. There was a bit you were supposed to do on some TV show or guest spot while while back. I think they put you in like a Fiat 500 or something. Something like that. You were doing a you were doing a bit on a show and you were trying to flip the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was uh that was the that was the audition for the American Top Gear. Oh, that's what it was. And then it was down to the last it was the final audition. It was down to uh the last two guys were going and it was me and um who was the guy who did Pimp My Ride back in the day? Exhibit? Exhibit. It was me and Exhibit and you had a choice of of the car you wanted to take around the track. And you had to commentate, you know, while yeah. you were racing and since i've owned a number of bmw v12s okay yeah and i've never driven a smart car before i decided to give exhibit the s63 while i took the smart car to try to flip it and it it didn't work um i had heard that the year before they put in an anti-roll device in the car yeah but it didn't stop me from going as fast as humanly possible and then just trying to Literally flip the thing as many times as possible. The the same guy that won't zip line in his yard <laughs> try to I'm intentionally. On I'm on the ground. Try to intentionally flip a smart car. But I'm on the ground be, already because it's good television. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the ground. <laughs> That's right. How bad could it be? Not that bad. Those right? things can't be that fast. It's like a pinball. <laughs> <laughs> You saw a shoulder roll earlier. Yeah, you we saw your shoulder it. roll earlier. You just do that. There's no car. difference. Yeah, you just got a little bit of tin around you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those things are so. They should call those the this stupid cars. Tin, right? It's plastic. Uh, it's not even that. It's like a, you could punch a hole in that thing. It's, it's like a, it's like bubble gum. <laughs> well, we're going to be doing stuff with Edmonds, and I remember Dan saying that that was probably the worst car that he reviewed. Right? Or yeah. At least Dan Edmonds is a friend of ours. He's the vehicle test uh, director of vehicle testing. We won't for be them. getting any money from smart cars, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm fine with that. And. Uh, and he's like, oh, no, that's, that's just the worst car ever. It's the worst car ever. It's ridiculous. How can you trust a car that you can hug? Or that you can pick up. <laughs> right? That well, you can. You can. Hug. <laughs> that's classic. <laughs> you can pick it up. I can't pick it up. So Yeah, we just hug him. On, on the topic of this TV stuff, I just got back from New York, and uh, uh, they told me I'm not supposed to talk about it, but they didn't pay me, so I'm going to talk about it. Uh, that's how it works here on this show. <laughs> it's, uh, so I got paid for my last gig, but does that so does that mean but it's I can't out talk already? About it? No, it's out already. Okay. This isn't out yet, and they're like, "We got to debut it. We got to, you know, it's a big thing." And I was like, "Yeah, not for me." <laughs> <laughs> but but you 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 you're picking up what I'm throwing now. I uh, there's this uh, new show that's going to come out on Discovery, and I, I don't know for lack of better term it's kind of a video clip show like uh uh i don't know like like almost game showish or um uh talk soup or or uh, joel McHale has a new show like that right yeah. kind of a video clip show thing and you're watching crashes and all kinds of stuff and um uh, anyway they i got invited to go be one of the guests on there and uh and it was it was fun and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a funny show and but you know it's it's like I did two episodes and it's and me and a couple young NASCAR drivers me and Ryan Blaney on one show mm-hmm. and uh, Eric Jones on the other show mm-hmm. and uh, and and was it a dating show? It was not. It was not a, a dating show. First of all, they're like twenty one and twenty seven. They're a little young for me, and also they're <laughs> dudes. <laughs> but, then there's that. But also. It's funny you mentioned that because this is sort of my – kind of my bitch moment is like I'm going to go do this TV show with a bunch – a couple of young guys that are essentially professional athletes. You know, they 
you know, as drivers, I was like, I can't go in there looking like an old fat slob. So they call me on a Wednesday and they're like, can you come out Monday? I was like, oh, I've got, I've got, I've got, I'm gonna, I can do this. Did you call this. Jack LaLanne or what did you I, do? I, I, I called my trainer. I was like, I was in the gym every day. I just didn't eat. For three days. For three days. Jesus Christ. And, uh, and then I didn't eat for, for, for two days. I flew to New York. Passed and out when you got off the plane because you didn't have any food. I, I, I took the subway to a sushi restaurant. I was like, it's New York. I want to see it. I'm only going to be here for 24 hours. I want to go see. I want to do something New York-y. So I got on a subway. And I so you left California and went to New York to get sushi. Yes. Okay. And uh, it, it wasn't better than here. As a matter of fact, it was very expensive. It was a, it was a nice place, kind of like a Nobu, but it wasn't Nobu. I don't know, Zuma or something like that. It was nice. Thanks and, for pubbing my brother's uh, restaurant, but Nobu. Appreciate it. Is that it? Is that in Valia. Oh, well, there you go. And uh, I should have went there. <laughs> He'll pay you 20 bucks for that commercial. Okay, well, I need it. <laughs> Just send me a gift certificate to some sushi because I'll hook I'm you still up. hungry. Uh, so I go there, and then I eat a, a little bit of sashimi. I'm keeping it lean. No carbs, Bill. No carbs, Okay. And then I walk back to the hotel five, five and a half miles because, like, I just ate. Now Were you wearing like your shitty. Fitbit? No, I wasn't wearing a Fitbit. But I have my iPhone. I'm tracking my steps. The next morning I get up at 5.30. I hit the gym. I'm doing cardio. I'm not drinking water. God, you guys are killing me. I'm not drinking water at this point. It's like I just got to dehydrate. It's got to be fucking super lean. And uh, and we go in. We shoot the thing. And they're like – and we got lunch. And Cater is like, just get that away from me. I got two episodes. I'm, from, oh, I'm there from 8 in the morning to like 3 in the afternoon. I'm just barely sipping on water. And I'm pumped full of like allergy medication because I had a stuffed up head and I didn't want to sound stuffy on, on there. So now I'm dehydrated and the makeup oh. girl keeps coming over. I was like, I just need more like chapstick or something because I could barely talk. And, and then at, at three o'clock, I was like, are we done? I was like, yeah. I was like, fuck, God damn it. I'm so glad we're done. No, I can eat. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then I, I just, and then and I breathe. And then I upgraded first class on the way home so I can get a fillet on the on the plane. And I'm just I'm just eating steak. And I'm just like, what else you got? What else you got? You know you're you know you're hungry when you're in three chasing days. a me an airplane meal. Yeah, five pounds in three days. Now keep in mind, I'm one fifty nine right water, now. Water, by the way. No, but the problem is, is I had already started the water thing like a week before, so I think it was. Brain matter. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I don't know. Keep talking. Let's let the listeners decide. <laughs> yeah, come on now. You're telling discovery. me you haven't you haven't had to like lean down for a, a match or a TV or something. You just don't do it as stupidly as I did it. I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> I just really don't. Except for I got a commercial on Tuesday, and uh, and uh, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. I got a commercial this coming week, um, and. They told me four days prior that they wanted me with my shirt off. And I said, you guys realize I am 51 now, right? They're like, yeah, we, we're, we're good with that. We don't care. And I said, so you sure you don't want my wrestling gear? And they were like, yeah, bring that too. I'm like, no, I don't think so. That was like, a I, joke. Was, I was kidding. I don't, yeah, that I don't. was a joke. <laughs> so I, I feel your pain, man. But, you know. I didn't want to go and look like a shithead and make a fool of myself on this show with these kids that are 21 what years old. What are you old. supposed to look like when you sit behind a microphone like this and when, you do, when you're not a professional athlete? What are you supposed to look like? I don't know, but if I can do this and eat a slice of pizza at the same time, I would. This is why I've got a body for podcasting is what I'm saying. So Embrace it. Yeah, just <laughs> yeah. be healthy. That's, and, nice. uh, That's all. But yeah, been focusing, been focusing on that. It was fun. The show's going to come out in May. There's a couple episodes that I'm on. It was funny. You're going to see some funny clips. Um, and by the way, Ryan Blaney was awesome. Eric Jones was awesome. The host was great. There was a little uh, a live audience that was there, and they sat through all day to do both episodes. They were great. They were troopers, and they just had great energy the whole time. And I think I think they deserve credit, too, when you watch the show. So, um, so I had that going on. But you're working on a show as well. Another one of these things where everyone's like, you can't talk about yeah, what you're we doing. Yeah, can. we can't. We can't tell you any. We can just tease you a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. We can't tell you any details. You know, it was a, it's a show that's going to be on the History Channel. That's probably there you as, go. as, as you when. Know. Do you know? Roughly? S- um, um, fairly soon. I- I'm thinking this summer. Okay. Yeah, the summer for sure. I love how they, they're like, we're going to get Goldberg on our show. You're going to be the star of our show, the host of our show. 
and you've got tons of social media followers and now podcasts of people to listen to, but don't tell anybody about this show. I was like, okay, how do you make money on the show? Well, people need to watch it so we can get advertising and ratings, but don't so... tell anybody about the show. <laughs> That's the part I never really understood. And I know there's, they're like, oh, we have to officially announce it. And we have to do this. I'm like... Look, but if you officially announce it in your own way and it doesn't get to the people you're wanting it to get to, don't you think you should think outside of the box? This is what I'm saying is your fans that love you and people that are listening to this show, <coughs> people that are listening to the show, it's not going to make or break the difference of, of the press release from history or the commercials they launch, right? It's, if anything, it's just going to do better. Absolutely. Hey, if people want to see it, they're going to watch it, you know, no yeah. matter what. Whether they hear it from me, they hear it from you, they watch a, a, a big lead into the show. Um, at the end of the day, people want, you know, ownership of of being the one that launched it. Yeah. There's value in that. But I, I guess it goes to your point of before is like you didn't bust through the, win- through the window on the direct TV commercial because you don't want to take money out of the pocket of the stunt guy. All right. Well, then I don't want to take money out of the pockets of whatever the PR marketing people or the ad agency or whatever's involved. So for that, I apologize. But they're it's still a team, kind it's a of team effort. I still feel like they're going to get their money anyway because yeah. <laughs> because they're all going to still promote the show. But that's just kind of the the sort of behind the scenes of of the machine that is all of this content that gets created in this world and. And by the way, that's why we're sitting in this studio doing this because we wanted some control over over the thing that we create together, right? So we wanted to do that. Well, here you go. I don't watch a lot of TV, and I probably wouldn't have seen that show. But now that you've mentioned it, and all <laughs> there the you details go. about it, I'm going to watch it. That's one. That's one extra viewer. For so, me. but here's the thing: is like the the advertisements for either one of these shows that we were talking about probably wouldn't come across your desk, right? Right. But. But you might DVR it and watch a couple episodes to see what's going on now because we've been talking about it. And that's, that's what I'm saying. It's all- and especially after I tell you this. Think think um, Ninja Warriors meets um, – American Ninja Warrior. To, to think about – That's a think, fun show. Think about um, contestants going through Ninja Warrior armed with a blade. That's all <laughs> oh. I can tell you. American Ninja Warrior. The visual spe- with spectacle knives. of American Ninja Warrior. Yeah. Different stations. Okay. But different different forms of cutting tools. Bringing all, right. bringing all demographics of people from all around the world. I hope somebody runs through there with a pizza cutter, just like a full on mm, pizza. Not that well, kind of cutting first, tool. <laughs> the first season we had something quite similar, <laughs> <laughs> and. It was hilarious. All right, so you've got uh, you've got a, you've got a show coming out, um, uh, coming out hopefully this summer, and uh, on history. We're obviously going to be talking more about that as things move on. Um, and to uh, uh, just wrap up that topic, you've been kind of all over on TV recently, right? You did episodes of The Flash. Is that on CW? Flashes on CW, and yeah, I guess you can get it on Netflix. And, That's a uh, Sonny Corolla's favorite show. Really? Yeah, The Flash. He talks about The Flash all the time. Well, it was funny because I watch it every morning with my son, but I really try not to watch everything every morning with my son. So. Do you have to do 100 push-ups if you watch The Flash? No. <laughs> okay. It's not a video game. <laughs> And and so I mindlessly sit there and act like I'm paying attention to a lot of his stuff just to be there for him, right? Yeah. And we were watching The Flash every morning. And then I get a call to do The Flash. And I'm like, Flash, Flash. Oh, Sounds I Sounds familiar. And I yeah. ran into my son. I was like, hey, dude, guess what? He was ecstatic, man. Yeah. It was really cool. He loved it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so as, that, as the as Goldbergs. That, I, he watches the Goldbergs every morning now. The Goldbergs is sitcom that yeah. uh, is on is that ABC? I ABC. think it's on ABC. Yeah, Jeff sure. Garland, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jeff You've Garland. done what four four episodes? Four episodes of that. I got one more coming up here soon. And um, so the Flash episodes have all aired already. Or? Flash have aired. All right. Three so now we can go back and the watch Goldbergs, those. I think have aired. I think there's one still remaining. Um, on the Flash, you get to beat up anybody. Mm-hmm. On the Goldbergs, you beat and up. And guess anybody? what? I didn't have a stunt guy for that. I wouldn't let a stunt dude come in and do the fight scene. No? No, not at all. I can only be pushed so far. Uh, 
small world, my <laughs> the guy that I train with in the gym also trains Brian Callen. Oh Jesus, Criminy Christmas. <laughs> And Brian Callen is a comedian, and he's I love an actor, Brian, and man. he's on the Goldbergs. I'm, the, I'm his brother on the show. All right. It's freaking hilarious, man. Uh, my guy Lou, Lou Parada, trains us both. I love Brian. And I, I run into Brian every now and then in the gym. Please and, give him uh, my best. And uh, next time I see him, I will. And uh, Does I, he wear the Goldberg shorts to the gym and the high I, tube socks and everything? Uh, n- not that I have seen. Damn. No, but uh, I'm going to tell him next time. Please do. Yeah, so on the show, you guys are brothers. Yes, and it's freaking <laughs> hilarious. Funny, right? <laughs> it, it's funny, right? It's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I I did the episode with Wendy, you know, the mom, mm-hmm. and I was I was having to shove as many um, orange slices in my mouth as I could. Oh, I saw the clip from and that. And I turned, and I turned back to her, and she had stuck one in her mouth and did that smile yeah. with the orange peel <laughs> thing. I almost threw up. She's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And the funny thing is- That's you know, a Marlon Brando Godfather move. Bingo. Right? Absolutely. With the orange slice? Absolutely. And yes. you know, the, the the cool thing is, and you get this a lot in Hollywood, but the, 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 the characters they portray, that's them in real life. Yeah. You know, to a degree. Um, so they're not doing a lot of acting, but I mean, it's just, they own it. It's classic. It's hilarious. It's it's very good writing. It, it seems show. like just even doing guest spots on a on a sitcom like that is both challenging and fun. Very challenging, especially when your name's Goldberg. Yeah, you know, and the sh- sh- the name of the show is the Goldbergs, and I hadn't been on there before, and everywhere I look is my name. Yeah, you know, you got a lot a lot to live up to. It, plus, bonus for every time somebody Google's that show and comes up with a big picture of you. Exactly. Why not? <laughs> Um, well, fantastic. So is there anything else that you're working on that we need to talk about or should talk about before we wrap up for today? Uh, what's today? <laughs> I mean, you know, um, I got to – we're filming a commercial next week. Like I said uh, – uh, Is it another direct TV commercial? Because, no, it's not direct TV. No? It's a, this, is, this is solely on the internet. Okay. Um, crave iPhone cable. I'll be, okay. I'll be, it's going to be bitching. And we got some Dodges in there. How about really? that? We got a Ram. We got a freaking Challenger. It's unbelievable. Not, you're not using your own cars. Sur- no. I mean, they didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know. Okay. I'm like, hey, you guys want to use a Challenger? How about a Demon? What's a Demon? What's a Demon? Uh, so, uh, uh, I forget uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll leave it at home. Yeah, forget about it. Don't even bother bringing it. Yeah. Um, all know, right, so you got a commercial coming up that's going to be good. We've got a lot more car stuff. We're going to get into more. I think next week we're going to do. Uh, we're going to we're going to have our friend from uh, from Edmunds dot com come in. This is nice. a this is another segment we're going to do on the show. So once a month, we're, we're shooting for every third show of the month. But once a month. We're going to have the experts from uh, Edmunds.com come in, and we're going to roundtable some kind of discussion like we were talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, like we can talk about anything on the show, but when you want to get into like autonomous cars or legislation, do you want to hear it from the podcaster and the actor slash wrestler slash 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 everything that you do? Or maybe we should get an authority – you know, to, to like, because we have opinions, we want to hear some facts. So it'd be great to have those guys come in and uh, and chat that up as well. So um, they're going to be bringing us some some great content over the next year, right? That's going to be fantastic. Yeah, I love Edmonds, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, he always uh, they always have like really good cars. All the new stuff, like we don't really talk about a lot about current new cars on this show. So I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I want to get into that more. I want to know what's good, what's not good. And uh, what's the deal on on warranties and scheduled maintenance that are even Ferrari's going into that now, which is amazing. And uh, Jaguar's new I Pace all electric SUV that's coming out, which by the way has like the greatest warranty for an electric vehicle. It's like eight, I don't know, ten years or something on the on the drivetrain or whatever, eight years, hundred thousand miles or something crazy like that. And uh, that SUV is going to do. It's pure electric, plug in only. 240 mile range, zero to 60 in four and a half seconds, and it's it, in, interior beautiful. Looks like a Jag. 
It doesn't I, look anything like an iPhone. I never like thought I'd say an this, iPhone. but, <laughs> and, you know, if obviously they take all the combustible engines off the run, I'm not going to have a choice to make a decision, but <clears throat> that Porsche that's coming out next year, I want that car. Yeah, the electric. The Mission the e. e. Yeah. Yeah. That thing's badass, right? Yep. It looks good. It looks real you good. You know, and, and it's safe to assume coming from Porsche, it's going to be... It's going to be tight. Like it's going to perform three hundred mile in twenty minute charge. Three hundred mile yeah. range in the twenty okay. minute charge. That's what they're professing. Yeah, I want me with a damn. Yeah, that could be that could be pretty cool. Then you could sneak down that hill as fast as possible. No one will hear you. Now they'd hear me breathing. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to wrap this up. Again, uh, check us out at carcastshow dot com. You want to send us some questions? You got questions for me? You got questions for Goldberg? Uh, shoot us an email at uh, carcastshow.com. While you're up there and you're listening to this show, you'll see some photos. Maybe we can throw up the DirecTV commercial up there and you can see uh, – <laughs> You can see. It sure won't take much time because I, I think I said three things. <laughs> <laughs> two shoulder rolls though. Two shoulder rolls. Yeah. One in, one out. I had to get my pay. You know, I had to do work for my pay. Yeah. And uh, did you get a chance to talk to him, you know, Creed 2 over there? Yeah, you know, it was cool. Very nice guy. Yeah. Very nice guy. But here's the thing. He's in the biggest movie on the planet right now. But here's the thing. Again, you just asked me if I got to talk to him. I gave you my impression of him as he treated me. Leno taught me a trick. Okay. okay. Um, How to wear denim? I already knew that. <laughs> um, he treats people. He passes judgment on people and the way they treat people when viewing them in um, uh, 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 dealing with the staff, like the wait staff. Mm -hmm. So if you go to a restaurant and you're with some celebrity, watch how they treat the staff. Watch how they treat the camera crew. Watch how they treat the people behind the scenes because that's the type of person they are. Yeah. Okay. So when a person might come up to me for the first time, they might treat me completely different as they would treat a wait staff person or someone yeah. else or whatever. So I changed the way that I break people down now. So um, thanks. Thanks, Jay. I appreciate it. Yeah. That well, much. that's a good tip. It truly uh, is. It's a good tip, especially for for the background, the fame that you come from, right? But also keep in mind that every time you walk into a room, people are already judging you. They're already judging you because they saw you wrestle or do mm -hmm. something Absolutely. or do whatever or in a movie and, or, you know, and they, you know, like this 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 wrestling character that you're so famous for is is a big, loud guy that, that yells and beats people up. And, and we know and, I'm the antithesis of that. I'm, I'm telling such you. such a quiet. I, he's the sweetest guy I know. He's the sweetest guy I know. Sweet little Until boy. he's not. <laughs> no, he's he is. He's the, he's the best. That's Let's why we want to do this. But he's had man a chokehold this entire the episode. whole time. <laughs> Are you really supposed to be that shade of purple? Man? <laughs> My head's gonna pop off like a zit. <laughs> it's gonna be gross. Uh, all right, guys. Well, anyway, wrapping it up. We're done here. Like we said, carcastshow.com. You can follow me at Twitter, social media, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all at Motorator. And, uh, you can follow me at Goldberg and Goldberg Garage on Twitter or Goldberg95 and Goldberg's, plural, Garage on Instagram. Yeah, and we're going to keep throwing those out there. So you guys are going to get them down soon. But, uh, guys, thank you so much. And until next time, uh, keep the air in the spare and the bag in the wheel. For the latest updates and call-in times, follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at CarCast Show. If you'd like to write in, fill out the form on CarCastShow.com. And don't forget to give us a nice rating on iTunes. CarCast is a Corolla Digital production and is produced by Chris Loxamana. For more information, visit CarCastShow.com. CarCast Show.